Alright, so welcome to this video. Uh, I'm currently going to do a voiceover slash talk like this because I was up in Cairngorms as you'll see and it was probably one of the best experiences that I did. Astro photography wise, the night was just perfect. It was the darkest, some of the darkest skies I've ever seen. Northern light popped out. It was just absolutely phenomenal and I'm going to voice over the video because Cairngorms, Loch Morlock area, that's where I was, was absolutely heaving. So I didn't really do any talking to camera and I just did some b-roll film bits here and there and I'll just kind of voice over what I did and what happened through the night because it was a pretty good night. So I started the night off at a famous loch um, in the Cairngorms National Park, Loch Unain, Uain, Uain. It's um, known as the Green Loch because of the acid in it makes the water look really green and appear really green. So it's quite a famous walk in the Cairngorms and I thought to capture the Milky Way over it. So as you can see, the Milky Way was shining pretty bright over the over the loch and there was a few campfires and people camping around it. So that's why I didn't do any talking. But as you can see, the skies were absolutely crystal clear. It was just brilliant, not a cloud in the sky, and you could see the Milky Way with the naked eye. So I did a load of pictures throughout the area. I did some vertical panoramas with the 24mm. I did a vertical shot playing on its own, 24mm, I stacked them. As you can see there. I also did just loads of stacking, pretty much I took pictures just of the 24mm just to get the galactic core over the loch and I stacked about six, seven images of them to reduce the noise and you can get you can see the detail in the Milky Way. So I spent a while around the area just taking pictures of the Milky Way over the famous loch. So that was location number one. Then I headed to Loch Morlach which is obviously very famous in the National Park uh, where I've been a few times before but never with the Sony camera so I was really excited to capture some really good pictures. So I got some panoramas over Loch Morlach there was a boat, as you can see in this picture, in this wee b-roll bit there with the Milky Way over it, but the boat kept moving, so it wasn't very good for any exposure, it kept kind of blurring through the exposure, so I got rid of, I moved down the lock a wee bit to get rid of the boat. So yeah, Jupiter and Saturn were in the sky as well so I got so I included them in the panoramas as well with the Milky Way and you can see the ref, the reflection on the loch was absolutely brilliant so it was just such a good location for astrophotography.
I was playing about under the Milky Way taking pictures I checked my phone because I knew there was some Aurora activity and luckily enough the my Aurora apps that I use normally, it's the Glendale apps the best one out there but there's loads of other apps, these are my apps that I use on my phone to check but the Glendale app is the best because it shows you who's seen it and etc, it's just brilliant and it tells you when the activity's meant to peak so I checked the Glendale app and luckily people were spawning it over, over Scotland so I turned my camera to the north facing area and luckily the water, uh, block more like the water sports centre was north facing and just under the plough you could see the green glow and a few sort of pillars dancing in the northern horizon which is awesome so unfortunately the northern horizon here was a wee bit blocked so I couldn't see the actual show so I hiked up, not hiked up, I drove up to the ski centre where I got the last of the show it wasn't ex exactly breathtaking to the eye but the colours on pictures were just phenomenal, you can see the reds, they're quite high up in the sky, above the plough there you can see red and the, and the green and the yellows, it was just brilliant so I could only see some of it dancing over the ski centre but I missed the show when I got up to the proper viewpoint but it's just brilliant to see the Northern Lights in Cairngorms, that's two times I've been to Cairngorms in the past year taking pictures and both of the Northern Lights that came out So that was the le second location, the final location was just to move a wee bit more to the eastern side, not to the eastern, to the western side of the Loch Morlock to get a picture of Orion because I knew that would be rising at about 3-4am so I quickly went over to this side just as a car park uh, spent a few hours kind of relaxing a wee bit and waiting for the Orion to come in the sky and sure enough he did so I played about there and got some Awesome panoramas there, just with the dark skies you can see so much colour in the night sky. So I've got some panoramas and I've got the classic 24mm stacked shot as well. And the lights you can see in the distance, that's the ski centre. So you can do nothing about them, they're just bright and they're always there. But nice wee foreground with the rocks and the skies are just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that was the night in the Cairngorms, it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm definitely going to go back there again in the winter, hopefully when there's a wee bit of snow and get the mountains covered with snow with these dark skies because Glencoe and Cairngorms is now my favourite places for astrophotography because the skies are so, so dark. So, hope you enjoyed all the pictures. I think I got some belters through there. So yeah, that's about it from the adventure. I hope you enjoyed the pictures, I sure did. Uh, the dark skies really did blow me away pretty much and the pictures just speak for themselves so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed all the b-roll uh, hopefully I'll get out again soon without tourists everywhere and camper vans everywhere and campfires everywhere and people walking about so I'll get to somewhere dark and I can do a proper video again so thank you very much for watching cheers <laughs>